Fabergé was a family firm that was established in the late 19th century. They were the greatest craftsmen in the age of great craftsmen. Alongside the likes of Cartier, Tiffany, they managed to be the most powerful and largest jewelry company of their era. Fabergé had the ability to capture not only the Russian imperial family, but royal families across Europe. It's always had this kind of mystique and aura. In this collection, we're lucky enough to have true works with imperial provenance. This vase, which is known as the Valletta vase, it was a gift from Grand Duke Alexei Alexandrovich to his favorite dancer at the um, Mihalovsky Theater. She was named Elizabeth Valletta and was nicknamed in the Russian press Diamond Majesty. What is incredible is the actual carving, the crystal of smoky topaz from which this was carved. Only Fabergé would have access to such incredible materials. This is 72 karat gold, which is the highest standard gold, which really shows you how important Fabergé knew this work was to put this really fantastic mount upon it. Fabergé was focused on making wonderful functional things like photograph frames or clocks into objects of art. This is what made Fabergé a place that everyone wanted to go, to buy gifts because they are just pure joy. Another piece is this lapis and nephrite clock. This was actually purchased in the London branch of Fabergé in 1915. Henrik Wigström, workmaster of Fabergé himself, would draw a design and then spin it out to the various craftsmen in the firm for, for execution. And we have the design of this clock that even has the specific detail, I don't know whether you can see, of these demonoid garnets, which are also included, very delicately drawn with watercolor. To have this record of the, the idea and then to have the object that it manifested is fantastic. Another iconic design in the collection is the Fabergé study of mistletoe. It's one of the only mistletoe flowers known that is very in keeping with these designs, which were meant to be special commissions and singular commissions. Its leaves are carved out of nephrite, the thinnest nephrite that turns in space. Its berries are made of moonstone. There's sheen and light within them. This dandelion also employs nephrite in a very delicate and beautifully finished way. Fabergé himself said, I am transforming materials into objects of fantasy, objects of whimsy. All of these items are linked by the fantastic materials. Fabergé carved the animal in such a way, you can see the movement here, you can almost see the bend in the leg, working with the stone, making the carving so that there weren't blemishes. And so you've got a lot of objects here that are really trying to accurately observe these animals and interpret them in these wonderful materials. Um, the cat, I love how it's um, crouched and, and poised and has its, its wonderful diamond eyes. This is just the imaginative whimsy of Fabergé. It is such an honor for us to be working with the Brooklyn Museum of Art to bring these works to the market for the first time since they were acquired. This is a fantastic opportunity for any collector who appreciates masterpieces to acquire what are completely unique objects.